Hey everybody, welcome back to our hands-on review series. This week we are getting hands-on with portable Surface computers including the new Surface Go, the Surface Pro, the Surface Laptop, and finally the Surface Book 2. Let's get right to it with the computer everyone is talking about, the newly released Surface Go. The smallest and lightest of the Surface computers, the Surface Go is the perfect computer for people, well, on the go. So if your job involves working out in the field or in your car and not at a desk per se, then this would be the perfect companion for you. It is a miniaturized version of the Surface Pro, even made out of the same magnesium casing. And if you weren't told beforehand that this was the Surface Go, you would probably think it was in fact the Surface Pro. It even comes with the iconic kickstand built in for when you want to work in laptop mode. At a starting weight of just 1 pound, 2.5 ounces, the Go weighs the same as a full bottle of water. Starting weight because with the keyboard attached, it will weigh 8 ounces more. Helping to make it light is the screen size of just 10 inches. This portable computer slash tablet fits into just about any bag. Here is a gallon size Ziploc bag for comparison and it fits in there just fine. Though you should probably get a bag with more padding. A video playback battery life of up to 9 hours and like most computers in the Surface lineup it has a front facing and rear facing camera. The Go only has one external connection port for a USB-C, so if you are used to plugging in a lot of devices on your existing computer, then we recommend the Surface Dock, which allows you to extend to two additional monitors and has plenty of room for all of your USB devices. Sorry, no HDMI on the dock, but you can purchase a USB to HDMI adapter. So how powerful is it really? Well, let's just say it is powerful enough to run your favorite applications, but it certainly is not as fast as the other Surface models. In this demonstration, we are opening a template in the resource-heavy program Visio, and although the application loaded normally, the template loads after some delay. However, after the template has finished loading, we see the app performs almost without any stalling. The Surface Go, for when you need a full computer on the go. Moving on to the Go's older brother, the Surface Pro is a step up in both size and power and not that much heavier than the Go, maxing out at 1.73 pounds. A 12.3 inch screen may not seem like a big difference on paper, but when comparing the two products side by side, you can instantly see the advantage of having those extra inches. A video playback battery life of up to 13.5 hours, you would be able to watch the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy plus one of the Hobbit movies without ever having to plug it in. Along with having the charging port, the Surface Pro has one full-size USB port and also a mini display port, but you may also need the Surface Dock for this computer as well. That is, of course, if you plan on using multiple monitors. The Pro, like the Go, has an attachable keyboard, turning it from tablet into laptop, which will certainly help you out in the program Visio. Speaking of Visio, let's go ahead and test out the speed of this computer. And as we can see, well, still a little bit of a delay, but definitely not as long as the Surface Go. And while dropping in these models, the program had a slight delay for the first one, but was rather fluid for the others. The Surface Pro for people that need standard computing power while still having a light and portable machine. Breaking away from tablets that turn into computers, or vice versa, we move on to the Surface Laptop. And why is it called the Surface Laptop? Because it's a laptop. Unlike the two previous Surfaces, the laptop does not detach away from the keyboard. It functions just like a traditional laptop you've had in the past, and if you bend the screen back way too far, you will break it. There is no kickstand on the back of the laptop because it is held in place by the keyboard. And as we take a look at the side profile, we see just how thin this laptop truly is. All in all, it is just over half an inch when closed, and weighs about 2.8 pounds. For those of you keeping score at home, this computer is double the weight and then some of the Surface Go. Part of the weight disparity comes from the keyboard being attached to the computer, the other being the larger screen at 13.5 inches. 
Just like with the Pro, the Surface Laptop has a USB 3.0 port and a mini display port. It also has a Surface Connect docking station port, which is blurry in this video. So now let's go ahead and performance test it. And we see that it, wow, that was really fast. And it should be fast because the Surface laptops come between 4 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes of RAM. The model we're using today has an Intel Core i5 processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM. It also has a video playback battery life of 14.5 hours, so you can spend two thirds of your day watching Netflix. The Surface Laptop, for when you aren't quite ready to make the switch to a 2-in-1 tablet and computer. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Surface Book 2. Unlike the previous three computers, this one comes in two different screen sizes, either the 3.5 inch or the 15 inch version. We are using the 13.5 inch version today. Now let's take a look at its external connections. Here we have two USB type A slots, and if we turn it on its other side, we see that we have one USB type C. Nope, not that. There we go. No. When including the keyboard, the computer weighs about three and a half pounds, but by detaching the keyboard and operating in tablet mode, you only have to carry about 1.6 pounds. The keyboard is electronically detached with a push of a button, and to put it back, you simply line it up with the pins and let it fall back into place. It will lock both magnetically and physically. Now let's see how the computer handles. And really no surprises here, the Surface Book with its Intel quad cores is the most powerful of all four Surface computers designed for jobs on the creative end of the spectrum, so your graphic designers, video editors, and so on. In fact, I am editing this very video on a Surface Book too. So which computer is right for you? Well, it really depends on how you work. If portability is of the utmost importance to you, then the small and lightweight Surface Go should be your pick. If portability plus solid computing power factors into your decision, then the Surface Pro should be a top consideration. If you are looking for more performance and are also looking for a more traditional laptop, then the Surface Laptop is a no-brainer. Of course, the additional performance comes with additional weight. Finally, if you need a workhorse of a computer and size and weight don't matter, then hands down you should pick the Book 2. And if you have additional questions about these computers, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at protectedtrust.com. I'm Steve with the Protected Trust Training Department, and we'll see you next time.